Hello everybody. Uh, today I'm just going to do a quick video showing you how to tether the Pentax K1 with Lightroom. Uh, out of the box the Pentax K1 actually won't tether with Lightroom so there's a little bit that you have to do to get it working so I'm just going to quickly go over that. First thing you have to do is go to the, the Rico Imaging website and if you if you have never updated the firmware since you've owned the camera you will need to do it because the the firmware that comes with the camera out of the box doesn't support the tethering so if you go onto their website and under firmware update just get whatever one is the latest one for the K1 at the time that this is recorded is, is at uh, 1.41 so if you click on the link it takes you to the firmware page and this, the top part tells you all, what all the different changes are but the important thing to do is, is uh, here it tells you how to check what version you actually have and it's advisable to do that just to maybe if you bought the camera used maybe you don't need to do this and it tells you here how to prepare for the update and the, the file that you need to download and the most important thing is make sure you read this very carefully, the update procedure. If you've never done a firmware update, then you definitely want to take your time and make sure you do it right. And down at the bottom there is uh, where you actually, the link for downloading it. Now, once you get the, the firmware done on the camera, if you scroll down further on this same page, there is under software, there's a Pentax Tethered Capture plugin for Adobe Photoshop Lightroom simple version. So for, 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 for just basic tethering, the simple version is all you need and that's what I've been using. And there's a version for, for Windows and for Mac OS. So you just uh, download the latest one for whichever operating system you're using and uh, then they go from there. Once you've actually downloaded the file, you need to open up the, the zip file and extract the file from within the zip file. I usually, with this, I'll just put it to my desktop and uh, leave it there and then close the, uh, the zip file. Then you just basically just double click on the, the file and it'll go through the installation and this takes, I usually in this case, I've already have it installed, so, so it's asking me if I want to modify, repair, or remove. But I'm just going to cancel because I already have it installed. But just go through the basic installation, and it's pretty self-explanatory. And uh, from there, you will need to do some some uh, adjusting, uh, some adjustments in your camera, and I will uh, quickly show you how to do those. For the next step, you need to go into your settings on your camera, and you need to go into the wrench icon here and item number two and you have to go down to US you have to go down to USB connection and by default it comes up as, as MSC you need to change it to PTP hit select and then hit menu to get out of the menu and go back to your regular screen and uh, once you have that the camera is all ready once you have your camera set up and you have the, uh, the, the Pentax K1 Lightroom plugin installed, it's actually quite simple. Just go to File, go down to Tethered Capture, select Start Tethered Capture, and I usually, you can give it a session name if you want. Everything else, uh, myself, I leave it by def to default, but you can do whatever you want. Hit OK, and it will tell you down here, there's no camera detected. But as soon as you turn on your camera, give it one second, it will come up here and it'll tell you that the, the Pentax K1 is selected and it'll bring up what your, your shutter speed set to, your aperture set to, and what your ISO is at, and your white balance. You can't actually change anything here, but you can go in, if you have any develop settings done, you can you can select a particular uh, preset if you want to be done automatically so if you're planning on doing like a black and white shoot you could potentially set it up so when it comes in it will automatically set that up the only other thing that you can really do is you can trigger the the, the, the shutter from this but that is the, the only thing that you can do 
Um, otherwise, it's basically it's relying on you doing the changes in the camera and uh, leaving it at that. So I hope you found this information helpful. If you have any questions, just um, leave them below. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you like what you see and want to see more content, please subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye.